you don't know me, my name is Layla, and this is my podcast where I talk about life and try to seek positivity in this world. If you have any questions on what you are struggling with in life or to find a new perspective on things, just comment on my videos and I will give you my advice. Remember, stay true to yourself and I hope you enjoy your time here on my podcast. my first video that I am recording for my podcast and I honestly wanted to start this because I wanted to give my advice that I try to give to myself to you guys to anyone out there who needs it because sometimes I need it sometimes people need to hear what they need to hear what I'm going to be talking about today is uh just starting school and self-love first thing like with starting school yeah we we don't like school i mean some people do like school some people do like the academics um some people love the fact that there's like you know you can see all your friends you meet new people all of that but school can be very stressful for people um i know it can get very stressful for me because i am a very oh i want to do this i want to do that and like if i'm doing something i'm not interested in doing i don't want to do it don't mind my desk okay i'm working on it it's not super horrible it's it is what it is but i am a kind of person to not focus very well on my schoolwork i usually just draw and doodle and you know i i don't focus the only thing i do really like about school is like i do like english where you learn new words and you're reading. I mean, I'm not really a reader, but like if I'm listening to a story with a bunch of other people and it's like actually a good story, then I'll, I'll listen. I'll, you know, try to remember the characters names and how, what they're going through and all that. But I mostly do like the fact of um, taking notes. I do like taking notes. I like being that, um, girl who like writes down everything that they hear. Oh, that is terrifying. I just found a giant spider web in my window. Besides that, I do like taking notes because I like organizing, color coding, all of that. I do like that, but only if it's like I'm copying something. Like if it's like math, and I'm just copying what they're writing down. Like I like that, but I don't really soak up a lot of information because I'm not a person who likes math. And there are a lot of people out there who don't like math and who literally forget everything about math, which is me. Anyway, (laughs) I do like taking notes. And I feel like last year, I did not learn really anything in English. I did not learn anything, unless if it was the first trimester where I had this teacher who actually like, you know, gave us vocabulary that we had to do, um, made us write narrative, uh, personal narrative essays and stuff like that. I did like that and I felt like I actually did learn things, like learn different words and learned what a personal narrative is, but I did not learn much at all in the rest of the trimesters I had. Because trimester two I did have English class, but we had no vocabulary at all. Like, I don't understand. I feel like we should have vocabulary in each class that we have. I think it's always good to learn new vocabulary. So then you have, you know, more words to describe what you're trying to talk about. Even just in general, like of talking, you know. That's, That's what I like about school. Another thing that can be stressful for school or like just about school is society and people. Like thinking and caring about what um, people think of you and what, like, how you look. You want to look, like, presentable. You want to look nice. You want to look clean. You want to look appropriate. Um, You want to look, you know, pretty. You want to look handsome. You want to look anything you want to look. You want to look the best that you can possibly look for yourself and for other people. Yes, you don't want people to think that you're just disgusting. And um, I do understand that some people have a hard time either taking care of themselves or it's hard for them like just because of the environment that they surround themselves with or that they're provided with 
I personally did not have uh, good hair um, back in like middle school, but now, you know, I'm, I actually know how to wash my hair nicely and I know how to take care of it. I know how to style it. You know, there are some people out there who have problems with their hygiene and all of that, but you know, they'll eventually like learn and build a motivation. Some people don't have motivation, enough motivation to clean themselves because of whatever they're going through and their mental health. Sometimes like I can, I can say that when I see someone who looks dirty, I'm going to be like, ew. But you know, I also have to realize that they might be going through stuff and it doesn't matter, you know? I'll just be like, oh, that person looks dirty, whatever. It's their business. Um, and definitely like the fact of like thinking about what people think of you. Honestly, my perspective now, I don't really care about what people think of me because I know that there are people out there who think I am pretty. I think that I am pretty. I think like I love myself. I think that I'm a great person. I know that I'm a kind and enjoyable person to be around. But honestly, you know, if people are going to be like, oh, like you stink or your hair looks greasy, like, okay, that's your opinion. You can take that opinion, keep it to yourself and go on with whatever you're going on with. You have other things to worry about. I definitely can admit that I used to judge people a lot. I was a very rude person. If I saw anyone that I did not think looked appealing or, you know, they were just like, even if they were just better than me, to be honest, I'd try to judge them. And it honestly just did not need to be said or done. But now I keep my things to myself. I keep, I mean, honestly, like, it is okay to discuss about people being a bad person like it's okay to discuss about the fact that this person is rude to people for no reason like there are some people that i know that i haven't done anything to them they randomly just started being rude and just started not liking me and you know that's their problem it's not my problem i'm not gonna make it a problem in my life but genuinely i think that you know if people are going to have stuff with you that's negative and you're just putting out negative energy to, and trying to make you feel bad, and if people are going to be disrespectful to you, that's their problem. If you've done nothing wrong to them or towards them to make them act like this towards you, that's not your problem. And some people stress about that. Like, like oh, this person doesn't like me or, oh, like, I don't know why they're just being so rude to me. It is what it is. You can't tell someone to do what you want them to do. You can't tell someone uh, to say something that they don't want to say or what you want them to say. You know what I mean? If people are going to treat you badly, you can identify what they're saying and what they're doing that is making you feel, you know, upset. Or you can take what they're doing and what they're saying and you can realize that you're not going to be like that. You're not going to be that way towards people, especially people who have done nothing towards you. Even people that you've heard, you might have heard things from multiple other people. And like, you don't even know this person, but you heard that like, oh, like they've done this with someone or they used to be this person and they used to do all these kind of things and it's just bad. If you don't have any personal experience with this person, or if you don't actually know this person, that does not mean that you need to treat them differently than how other people think of them and how they how other people treat them. If people don't like them because of like what they've done or what they've heard they've done, let them treat them however they want to treat them. But if you don't have any beef or anything any disrespect towards this person because you don't even know them say hi to them say like how are you you know 
just be kind to each other be respectful to each other because i can definitely tell like a lot of people nowadays lack respect for others i lack respect for a lot of people but whenever i see them i'm not gonna be like oh my gosh like ew i'm just gonna be like hey or not even say anything i'm not gonna say anything and i'm not gonna waste my time on people who are disrespectful to me or who are bad to me currently i have to get ready for work and yeah so i will probably continue this tomorrow morning so i'll see you then okay i'm back sorry about that that felt so good i had work and i had to get ready for that which i am a waitress i i do like working as being a waitress because like i can be like myself and like you know i love making people laugh i love being outgoing um you know just making people smile and letting them have a great experience and a great time being at the restaurant i work at but yeah i work at a chinese restaurant it definitely does get stressful at times but i like it there it's not too like in your face like gourmet or if it's like fast food it's it's a nice place to be working at um, but what I wanted to talk about next was, so I guess I'll just start talking about self-love now. The thing about self-love is it doesn't just come easily, I guess. Like, people do struggle with loving themselves for who they are and what kind of person they, they are and how they look and all that. What I've learned is that you know, God made me this way, and the only thing I can do is try to embrace what I have and embrace myself. Because, like, I feel pretty. Some people think otherwise, but that is okay. And the thing is, is, like, you can tell yourself, like, it's okay. Like, people don't have to think I'm pretty, or people don't have to like me. Just know, like, there is someone there is someone who likes you for you and who knows you for you. But you can definitely tell yourself, like, you know, you have these people in your life. There is at least one person out there who loves you for you. And you have to learn to love yourself because this is you. This is who you're going to be for the rest of your life. And, you know, as much as people can hate themselves, you know, uh, some people might hate themselves to a point where they don't want to be here anymore. And I have felt that before. I've definitely felt the sense of like the fact that I did not like how I was looking or of how I acted because back then I did not really think about what I was saying before I actually said it out loud. Like, I'd always would just say whatever was on my mind, which is not the best thing to be doing. I definitely learned um, how to control impulse, like my impulsive decisions and the fact that I can be a very hyper person. I can be a very loud person. I can tend to be excited about a whole bunch of things and just ramble and just talk about everything that's on my mind which i get and we all get that you know it's one thing when someone's excited about something but if you're hyper and if you're all over the place and you're crazy all the time it's not the best look just towards other people because nobody likes someone who's just talking constantly and all that and i understand like people do feel like they want to just want to say whatever's on their mind they can say their opinion like that's fine you can say your opinion but even if it's like your opinion doesn't need to be said it doesn't need to be said even if it's like an opinion that's negative like saying your opinion about someone that about like how they look do we really need to be saying it do we really need to be discussing it no Let's just say like someone someone's outfit doesn't look good to you maybe you could 
give them constructive criticism because like I used to not take con constructive criticism that well at all but you know you give them that constructive criticism being like hey like I like your outfit but you know you could change this or you could add this you know like try to help them you can have your opinion about how like anything that's when it's like okay you can say your opinion or you know but if it's in like a negative way where you're saying like like oh they just look bad okay okay they maybe maybe they like the way that they look for instance like you know some people dress emo i understand not everyone likes emo people not everyone likes the fact of the so much makeup and so much eyeliner like i did have an emo face some people do have an emo phase in their life, which that was bad on my part. But I definitely, you know, I found myself and I found how I like to look and that I'm not an emo. But, you know, if you see like an emo person and you're just like, oh my gosh, like that's way too much makeup. Like, yeah, it might be too much makeup, but if they like their how they look, if they like what they're doing, let them be themselves. I mean, you don't have to say that they look bad or everything because they they probably do know that they don't look like how everyone else looks and maybe they don't want to look how everyone else looks and that's the reason why they're, wait they're wearing their makeup or they're wearing the clothes that they're wearing loving yourself finding yourself just that's what they might be trying to do they had other styles before that and they didn't like it and now they're trying a new style maybe they'll get over that style maybe they won't get over that style and then that will be their style forever everyone goes through phases of whatever happens in their life people will try to find what they truly like and what they truly want to be like you know what i mean whatever you like whatever you want to do in your life go for it but don't try so hard to make other people like what you're liking. Like if other people like what you're doing and how you look, then that's great. That's cool. You can surround yourself with those kind of people who actually like, you know, what you like. People who bring you that positive energy, who don't judge you for how you look or don't even care how like the things that you do loving yourself is really just about accepting accepting what you already have how you look how you act but also self-love is knowing that you are a person and you can change and if you identify the things that you don't like about yourself all the time you can see like oh i don't like this about myself so i'm going to change it like i don't like my hair then try to get a haircut try something new try something different maybe even try something like i got i got bangs i've never had bangs in my entire life i have always been a um a full forehead girl which i do look good anyway and but you know i tried something different i tried getting a whole bunch of layers because i've always had that straight cut hairstyle and you know i tried something different and i love how it is i love how my hair is now and i love my bangs i honestly look so much better with bangs when my hair is up so yeah but accepting what you already have and knowing that you can change what you don't like about yourself knowing that you have maybe you have been a rude person in your life like for me i was a very judgmental person i'd always judge everyone around me because i mean we do that sometimes but we don't need to do that we don't need to focus on judging people and we also need to not focus about making f people feel bad because that's what that's what people do nowadays it's just making others feel bad just so they can feel better themselves we can change because people can change some people try to say that oh a person can't change uh how they act or whatever and that's just how they're gonna be no if you really put your mind to it and you really want to be more of a positive person for yourself and for other people and you want to be more of a kind person to people and to yourself 
most importantly to yourself and knowing that if you can treat yourself the best that you could possibly treat yourself then you're gonna feel more positive inside and you're gonna want to put out that positive energy because if you realize that once you put out all of this positive energy it's always gonna come back to you it's always going to have a ripple effect nobody's gonna be just super positive and and all that like it doesn't just come naturally you have to put yourself and have that mindset you just gotta tell yourself like you know everything's gonna be all right or you know i can do this to help this i can help them with something that they're struggling with and then maybe it will help me you know self-care too also goes with self-love like self-care like just you know if you have emotions and things that are going on in your life that are bottled up in your brain that are stressing you out get a piece of paper get a pencil write down everything that you do not like everything that you do not like and that is stressing you out and that is making you feel negative energy in your life write it all down every single thing that you could possibly think of and what i do is i rip it up i don't know go outside be careful but like go outside and burn it <laughs> i don't do that but you know it's an idea you can take all of that and you can know that like these are not going to stress me out anymore i'm not going to worry about these things unless if it's like you know like i don't know i don't know but i hope i'm making sense if i'm making sense please tell me like <laughs> I just feel like making these videos are honestly gonna help me um too like I mean I want to help you guys I want to help you guys realize that life is hard but you can be positive to yourself and to everyone else around you and I can assure you your life's going to be a lot better there still might be things in your life that are gonna be horrible or that make you stress out stress stress that's what life is like if you don't have those things those negative things in your life or things that stress you out in life you're not gonna know what true pure happiness is like you're not gonna know how to learn from things that have happened in your life you're not gonna learn how to change and to help with whatever you're going on with I'm making these videos honestly for me to just like let me get it all out but like I hope some of you guys would relate to what I'm saying and I hope that I'm helping you because after like everything that I've been through in my life I want to help people and I'm sure that some of you are like that like some of you like really realize that now that you've helped yourself more maybe not fully but now that you've helped yourself you want to help other people and the best thing is is that when you help other people you are helping yourself too when you're helping people and you're giving out that positive energy it's always gonna come back to you like i said just let me know um i'm probably gonna edit this tonight just let me know in the comments like what i should talk about i already have some other ideas of like what i'm wanting to talk about and stuff but yeah just give me ideas of what you think i should talk about like if you have any questions like i am more than willing to help anyone even if it's someone i don't like i'm gonna give them the advice that i would try to give myself if you're wanting help from me i'll help them even if there's someone i don't like i don't care I don't you know it's honestly like now's the time to like if you you realize because i've realized too is that i can't i can't just be so immature anymore i need to actually like realize that there are better things to be worrying about or better things to be thinking about than other people stop worrying about other people if they're going to be rude and if they're going to be sad about whatever they're going through and treat you differently because of that, that's their problem. 
and there are so many great things in this world that you could be thinking about, worrying about, and doing. So I hope this helped you. I hope this helped me a lot, just me talking to my phone. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, day, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you another time. Bye.